Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Josh. Josh, what's your last name? Conrad. And Josh, where are we at? We're at the Early Ford V8 Foundation Museum in Auburn, Indiana. That's a cool place. You should come on out and visit. Matter of fact, I usually wouldn't shoot this because this isn't a car, but it was so cool that I said, I have to shoot this. So let's take a look. Josh, stand with me right next to it. What do, what do we have here at your museum? Uh, we have a 1941 school bus a nine-seater from Tonesquet, Washington State. Okay, come on alongside me, let me feature it. Wow, um, you don't see many 1941 school buses. So how did you get this? Uh, this was donated to us by an individual from uh, uh, named Peter McLaughlin Thank in you, Peter. Lyme, New Hampshire. This is really, really neat. Come on with me. Let me just feature some of the pieces. Some, some little subtleties you wouldn't notice, but there's little Ford insignia is there and if you look right there at the tip of the hood does it say 95 yep that's for a 95 horsepower engine 95 horsepower Ford engine and you don't notice this at first but there's little turn signals there underneath the headlamps and the more I just kept looking at it and the cool school bus across the front end you just couldn't help yourself. I said, I have to do, I think I have to video this. And let me just, so that people can, if they want to stop on this, here's what we have. And by the way, here's the museum. There's Peter and it gives you some details. So we can kind of stop on that at any time you really want to. Let's take a look at this from the side. And before I go too far back, there's little subtleties. Like you see the V8 there in the hood. So when you pull back, and you get the entire picture. And these, these videos will probably be on the museum website, so we want to give a good flavor of the overall museum, not just the cars for my car story. So we're doing a little something extra here for Josh, but it's really my pleasure, and I'm being treated in the process. But uh, the turning markers and the <laughs> single mirror here, just to see who's coming up behind you. The spare tire, quickly accessible with the V8 and the logo. But I love the windows here where the kids would be stashed. And uh, let's open this side for a little bit different because this is where the kids would get in. So here we are, we're one of the kids, we're getting in. Josh, what else do I need to know about this? Well, this was a one and a half ton truck that was converted uh, into this. It's not a panel delivery. Uh, and it would seat nine students. Now, if you can imagine, the switchbacks in Washington State, I imagine this thing had chains on the tires and so ready to go. They were picking kids up out in the country. So here they had to be pretty small to fit three abreast on those three little seats back there. Looks like a little in case we get a boo boo yep. box right there. But here's here's your interior. This is what the kids would see as they and there's the kind of dome light there. This would be. See, it's all custom built. The whole, the whole inside is custom built. I, we believe they did take the top of a panel delivery to make this, but then they completely customized it. Yeah. To fit their needs for and as far as the school. You'll bus. see what this little handle the, does in a second. The hand operated semaphore there. Let me just uh, grab a hold of it and show you where the the driver's seen it. It did say top speed 73. I don't think it's ever hit anywhere near that. <laughs> We'll give you the gauges that the driver saw so you can get a real good feel. And we got that badging there. I got that one. And we'll we'll jump out it here. The coach builder. The coach builder. Well, let's take a look at this in the back too. That. The iconic back of the school bus. That is an all-time classic tale. That just looks really cool with the tiger striping on it and the, you know, the turn signals that would be flashing right there, we'll kind of zone in on those. And the little, the little kind of I'm in prison windows going to school with the marker lights in the back. And the, I love this little thing. Stops at all railroad crossings. That this looks great. And then there's this little that was in that 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 we saw in the front. The hand operated. The hand operated. So cars won't pass the bus when they're picking kids. Yeah. 
There's where you put your gas in. Let's open up the hood. We're gonna open that up. No problem. There's one big handle. Show me how that did that again. Go go back there and show me how that did work. So it comes down. And now this is this one big handle. Go ahead. He just grabs it, grab it, pulls it up, flip it up, and there's a button. See the button? Oh yeah. Double latch. And there's your flathead forward. Just like that. There's a tag there. I don't know how clear it'll come out. But whatever it is, you'll be able to pause on that and see it. And uh, take a look at the take a look at the uh, pulley system here as it works around. And this this runs, doesn't it? Yes. As all school buses should. <laughs> and there you go. We'll get you shot down in the engine compartment. So you can kind of see that. So come on out to the museum and take a look at this. Let's shut that hood and stand right next to it. Josh, stand right there. Hey, thanks for showing us your cool school bus. Yeah, thanks, Luke.